So let me show you in this video how to use the YouTube app on your iPhone. So first simply click on it and make sure you have the latest version. And first when it opens up, you can start scrolling and seeing what kind of videos they have. But let's search something and let me show you. So in order to search, go here, up here, and simply let's search, for example, Google Class. And there we have, you can see number two result is Google Class. And what I want to show you is the difference between the earlier YouTube apps on iPhone. So now we have different videos here. I can scroll this list and I can see what kind of videos they have. And let me just click the first one and it will open up. Let's see here. I will pause it. But basically there's many options you can do. Uh, right now you can see the video here, but you can also see what's the title. Over here you can see, uh, you can click on like or dislike. And also you can see the author and additionally, you can subscribe to the channel. So this is really cool and something they didn't have before. The other thing I like is down here, if you go down, it will open this option here where you click on plus and basically you can add it to playlist, to favorites and also the feature that I'm using a lot, which is watch later. To do all these things, you need to be signed in to your YouTube account. Okay, so basically I use the watch later option a lot. Now I click on cancel and I go away and here is another cool feature. Just click there and now you can share this video on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, by email, by message or copying the link. Again, we want to click on cancel and uh, so these two features are really useful. Now let's go down here and I can see more suggestions and also I can read the comments. Okay, if you want to read the comments, simply click on this arrow and you can see the comments, okay, what people are commenting on that video. Now, let's talk about when we watch the video, I will, I will pause it and for example, if we want to watch it bigger, you would click on this thing here and as you can see, it will move your iPhone, it will show it horizontally rather than vertically. Again. Uh, maybe watching many videos, it's nicer this way, but I will click again there and that way it will move back here. The other thing, if you're watching a video and that's not the right video, you are, you are not finding what you have been looking for, just click on the image and then drag it here down, okay? So it kind of like lets you to have it there down while watching other videos or searching for other answer on other video you are looking for okay so it's really cool and then again to watch it simply click on here and then make it bigger and uh, there it goes again so really cool trick and while searching for videos you can click we are now watching videos then we can click on playlist if you want to see different playlists on this topic and we can also see different channels by clicking on channels Okay, so these are the main things and basically I liked a lot the usability of this and it's much better than the earlier apps that there was available on the iPhone. So uh, I think that's the main thing. Let's see on uh, something else if we are missing. Let's click on this thing and see what we can see there. Okay, so this is interesting. We can now sort our listings according to relevance, upload date, view accounts or rating. Sometimes you want to see, for example, the video that has most views. So in that case, you would simply click on view account here. Okay, so let's click on there. And now you want to click done and it will give you another list. It will show that the number one video is this one that has 21 million views. And that's a really cool feature that they didn't have before. When you're using the online version, you can do this, but now you can do it also on iPhone. Let, let's click again and see what other things they have. Another thing that I many times use is, is that I want to see the upload date. And uh, sometimes I want to see like something that has been uploaded today or this week, if it's a news about something relevant and so on. So use all these options and see how they work. Then we have duration. Uh, is it a short video or long video? That's also really cool. You can search for long videos by selecting that. 
and and so on so again when you are done or if you want to cancel let's just click on cancel and that's basically how you use the this app but it's really cool and basically i like it a lot just the last thing if you want to go and click on the arrow and then again here it will show you the different options that uh, are available right now i'm not signed in so it would be recommendable that you are signed in because then you can do many of the things like uh, watch the video later and so on let's check the settings just to show you what it has here you can do some certain things for example you can uh, make the links to open on chrome so you need a chrome app for that to work and you can simply see other things if you want to see the privacy policy you can do this you can see that we still have our main video here anytime we want we can just make it bigger and we can start watching it okay and now I will make it smaller over there. So that's basically how the app works. And I, I like it a lot. These are the main categories that YouTube has. And, and you can quickly, you know, search for them or, or watch what kind of videos they have. And also then you have this area here. So anytime you want, you can track it here and you can, you know, see what's, what's happening there. So I hope you enjoy this. And remember to always use the latest version of the iPhone app and um, simply do all the things I have shown here and you will see that the new app is really useful and I'm sure you will like it a lot. Thanks.